What's rocking my fellow magicians? One Dr. Genius here and welcome to Prodigy Video. In today's video, we shall be going over Prodigy's updates in game. And one of the most shocking updates is that a membership box has arrived. Again, the April membership box, part two. Right here, you can see, right? So let's open it. And it seems to have the exact same reward as the previous membership box, I guess. This is Prodigy's prank on us or something? Yeah, we just got a whoopee cushion and that's buddy, but we had already gotten them. That doesn't make any sense. Why did they play a pull a prank on us again? Did we get two different buddies or something? Because I definitely see this dude following me around. So what's going on? Let's jump up to the... Yeah, they just gave us two of everything. Like, what's the point of that? Come on, guys. That's... Okay, that's quite interesting. But another thing you'll find interesting is that if you open up Wizard Watch over here... And Wizard Watch, as soon as it loads, it seems to take forever these days. You scroll down and it says... Boom! And it says, Boom! Springfest is booming. Fox, knights, or bunny bandits. Choose your side. The quest for magical eggs begins soon. Right? They're telling us to choose our sides and stuff. But the thing is, we don't have any timeline for Springfest. When will it drop in game? You know? You never know. It might be a week from now, or maybe next month. You never know what Prodigy will do. But so far, Lamp Playtown looks pretty pale. I know, colorless. Soulless. But that's not all, Visit Watch also has another announcement for you, and that is Mythical Epics and their Battle Pass Ningi Majiggy. Right over here, you can see we got ourselves a new battle, nope, same old Battle Pass, but if you complete it now, you can get yourself a Mythical Epic pet. Basically, the pet only obtained from an Ultimate Membership box, and right now you have 20 days to get it. So far, I've already collected myself the Mythical Epic over here, which was... Uh, the Hydroid, yeah, Hydroid. Wait, we can actually click on them and see. Yeah, we can definitely get ourselves a Coral Aquister, and we can get ourselves a Treasure Chest. Now, a Treasure Chest is probably one of the only new things they've added in quite a while. I believe this parrot over here is also old, so like, not new. But you can see though there's some updates in-game. Apart from that, we can still see our arena system is running fine, in a sense. Like, yeah, let's just check up on our arena and see what's up with that. Now if we click on our arena, you can see our keys seem to refresh every day and you can go into battle and get goals. Now, it seems to be the same. There haven't been any updates. I don't know what the point of Harmony Island and everything was if they were just gonna undo it in a second. Like, what's the point of Harmony Island? And we got all of those fancy, fancy rings for no reason. You know, I wonder what older players, like younger Prodigy players get because... They don't have Harmony Island anymore, and we have like these rings, so there must be a way where it appears and then disappears later on, you know? So apart from that, Prodigy is also making it that your parents, that any reward goal set on your account by your parents or anything will appear on the side. And over here you can see, right now we have a very annoying chicken, which still hasn't been activated. So yeah, your parent goals will stick to the side, and as for their membership benefits, let's see what they are. Alright, so it seems like if you have made your Prodigy account a long time ago, you still have to deal with old Prodigy. So what I'm going to quickly do is I'm just going to log into a new Prodigy account and see what's up in that. Well, while we're here, we could think of possible ideas of Prodigy's next update that she would be adding in-game. Like, for example, they still have Dynotic Oasis in-game, but they removed all the quests from there and basically made it an empty area. So maybe Prodigy will add some quests which we can do there, you know? Like, that would be nice. There's really nothing to do there other than dig in a bunch of dirt and pay gold for it, which makes it even less attractive now. Back then, it was still a little fun, but now it's... Meh, nothing. Nothing to do there. Maybe they could add some sort of new update in-game. It's really speaking, it's not that hard, okay? Yeah, it's not that hard. No apology, it's not that hard to do, but, you know, the update pace in Paji has become a lot slower than what it used to be. We're taking way longer. Now, just a little disappointing, honestly. There haven't been that many updates, not too many items. Sure, they did add the Puppet Master thing, but that was finished very quickly. Now, I do understand that their main goal is maps, but they do have to understand that the game does need story to be intriguing. Like, it removes quite a bit of motivation to play the game. So, you know, that's a little disappointing that they didn't enhance the story because honestly this could be a good story basis but no they just decided to kill off the puppet master and everything and haven't introduced anything new nothing about the lore all the old things have been deleted they locked the ice and earth towers again removed all of its achievements and stuff 
So honestly, I have no clue where Prodigy is trying to take the game now. And they seem to have like locked the content. Like members are experiencing different things. Non-members are experiencing different things, which is interesting. And over here, you can see this is their like new membership thing over here. If you click on it, it shows you this pop up in game. And then you can purchase membership using another device and everything over here, which is interesting, I guess. But the continue button has also been moved to the top of the screen, which is a little weird. But yeah, that's basically everything that project has been just tossing in game at players. Now, I think that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys found this interesting, got to see Prodigy updates, and some of my thoughts on Prodigy. And if you did, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a humongous thumbs up, and I'll be catching y'all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Thank you for watching, and bye!